everyone, this is Ryan Hoime, aka Massage Nerd, and today we have a special guest, uh, David Gonzalez, from, he's from Florida. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so the first time I met you was last year at the FSMTA convention and stuff like that. So um, you you have some DVDs out there too, right? Yes, uh, we have the stretching DVD. We call it the functional approach to stretching and range of motion. And basically, what we do is we teach the basic skills of stretching to people that are want to learn the basic of of this type of work. Okay. On um, right now, the DVD that we have out is on the lower body. We're working in producing another one for the upper body. And then we're concentrating also in going out there to teach the uh, continuing education classes for therapists about the modalities on stretching, also in sport massage. And are you thinking about different languages too and stuff? To yeah, we're working on developing the, the DVDs also in Spanish. Okay. As you know, I speak Spanish. Yep, so. yep. Uh, we're gonna market also to the Hispanic market that is growing in the in some areas in the oh, country. Oh, that's be huge! Yeah. And then yeah. we're trying also to expand to other, you know, Spanish-speaking. Is there a lot places. of massage or stretching DVDs out there that are geared towards uh, um, Spanish-speaking and stuff? Then you know, not? I haven't found anything. So <laughs> that's why I want to work into this. Yeah. Um, I think that the market is out there, and the sad part is that you have in certain segments of the population, you have a lot of Hispanics that are having the issue of speaking the language and understanding the language, but that doesn't mean they're not as professional as we are because they cannot have access to the media that we have yep. just because of the language barrier. Isn't Spanish the second largest um, language in, in America then? Or I, I, I would say so. Oh, yeah. I mean, when you look at the Hispanic market right now, this is the biggest minority that we have. Yeah. And coming from South Florida, and uh, Dade County, where one of every two, one of every two people are Hispanic, then that's a good way to start educating and have the same access that you have to the American market. So, do the Hispanic um, uh, um, or, um, people and stuff like that do they get a lot of massages? Would you say, or are they more of a minority for giving getting massages? Actually, no. I would say it's pretty much the same. Okay. It's a market, it's education. I mean, when I look at my private practice and I look at my own clientele, I mean, I can tell you I have a 50-50 uh, breakdown on Hispanic versus non-Hispanic. Okay. So, and it's relative to the area where you're setting. Nope. You know, you're going to have other segments on the county or the state that are yep. not going to see populated in, in the Hispanic. And I think it's great that you speak a couple languages too and stuff. And nowadays you got to in order to survive it seems. And I mean, yeah, you can get a, get, a, get by with just English and stuff, but it, you're opening yourself up to so much more of a market and stuff. Yeah. And, and I yeah. think, you know, we're, at least I consider myself in the business, but in reality, this is the passion of sharing information. And that's what I want to do. I've been blessed to be in a situation where I've been learning from people from different backgrounds at the top level, from the university, from the colleges, from the same experience that we have here, the FSMTA coming from other professionals. So I want to be a tool to transmit or to share the information to the community. And that's basically my goal. Yep. And then you also teach workshops then? And yep. Yes, uh, yep. we, we teach classes right now on, on stretching and range of motion. We also have classes for sports massage, for performance enhancement. We teach classes on the basic uh, requirements, the HIV, ethics, okay. law, medical errors. And we're developing a few classes right now that are more geared to the uh, clinical aspect of the uh, musculoskeletal pathologies and how to rehab. Also from the exercise component more to give the massage therapist the opportunity to learn more about how exercise is involved in the rehabilitation process of any client. Okay. Because if you, as a massage therapist, you're working with the patient, if you understand that they will benefit from exercise, then you will be able to refer out to people that specialize in that type of work. Because the ultimate goal is the benefit of the actual patient or client. And what kind of educational background do you have then? Well, I, again, that's been a blessing for me. I'm a licensed massage therapist. I have an associate degree as a physical therapy assistant. Okay. I have a bachelor's degree as an exercise physiologist. Okay. When I did that, I concentrated in uh, cardiac rehab and strength and conditioning. Okay. And then I did my master's degree also in exercise science, where I was able to specialize in performance enhancement and injury prevention of athletes. Okay. So, but when I talk about athletes and athletic, I think everybody's an athlete. 
you have athletes yeah. competing at the highest level of yeah. sports, but then you have athletes at the lower level. Like I always talk about the mothers that are, you know, bringing their kids yeah. up and they're lifting yeah. their kids. They have to be able yeah. to be functionally healthy to move efficiently. Yeah. So that's part of the education from the exercise, from the massage. Yeah. So to create awareness to the to the community and to the therapist. And I, I just um, did an interview with um, Oleg from, where do, he does Russian sports massage, and he mm -hmm. said that's kind of a stereotype too. I mean, when you say it's sports massage, it's just not for just athletes and stuff. So it's, Exactly, yeah, Bill, because who, yeah. I, I was telling some of my students the other day, you guys are athletes. Yeah. You're athletes practicing the sport of massage. Yeah. You know, when you look at some of the components of fitness or, or exercise, you have, for example, specificity of exercise. If I do massage, is that going to improve my running? Well, it's a compliment, but if you want to be a better runner, guess what? You have to run, you have to train, you have to work on your weights, you have to eat right, you have to rest, but guess what? You know, massage is a component of it. And if you are, that's what you do, every compliment will help. Yep. And you also teach massage, right? Yes, yep. I teach yep. massage okay. for the Miami Dade College. Okay. So what else do you not do? <laughs> So that's, a, that's a great question, but I tell you something, Ryan, because this, this, this is good, you know, a lot of people are telling me that, but this is the bottom line. Everything that I do is around the same body, uh -huh. okay, so if I'm doing massage therapy or strength and conditioning or physical therapy, guess what, it's, the, it's with the same person. So when I go out there to see a patient or a client, you may be for massage, the other be maybe to physical therapy, but everything relates to each other. All yeah. we want to be is being functional and being healthy. And would you say um, it's a lot better for you too because um, you have a few different backgrounds and stuff because you're more versatile, would you say? Well, what is helping me is that I, I learn to see the body from a different point of view. Okay. For example, I had a comment two years ago, somebody come and say, but why are you doing physical therapy assistant when you're such a good therapist? And I'm like, well, thank you for that, but the reason I'm getting into this physical therapy field is not so I quit the massage industry, it's so I can become a better massage therapist. Not that I'm gonna be changing my stroke, but if I have a better understanding of what's going on with certain pathologies or with certain conditions or with certain patients, then I'm gonna be able to develop better protocols to treat it, those people. Yep. So before I was referring out because I didn't know, but now can massage really help with this particular patient? Well, because of this understanding, now I can do it. Yep. So my goal with people is that they can refer out if they don't know, but don't limit yourself to learn because it's not within your scope of practice. Yeah, it may not be there in your scope of practice and you'll not be able to do it legally, but that should not be a limitation for you to learn anything that you want out there. Yeah. So my, my main thing is to make sure that, and to stimulate and to mo motivate people to, to learn, because this is a fascinating field. Uh, a few years ago, Tiffany Field came here to talk and as a keynote speaker, she said that we need more doctors in the massage therapy industry so we can gain a little bit more credibility into the masses. Mm -hmm. And I took it very serious. I want to be a doctor who's a massage therapist. Not that it's going to make any difference in the way I do massage, but if I can gain, from the scholastic point of view, a little bit more credibility, then we can target, we can reach more of the masses and let them know, hey, you know, this works because this really works. But we need to continue this job like you're doing, yeah. educating the community, educating the public, educating the masses to realize that massage is more than a rub down as some people still feel it is. Yeah. When are you going to write your memoirs? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe you can handle it with that. <laughs> yeah. That's great, that's great. You just feel like you're uh, such a wealth of knowledge and stuff like that, and more diverse and stuff. And it's, uh, well, Ryan, you know yeah. what? Again, it's been yeah. a blessing yeah. in my life, but this is the only difference. I don't yeah. think that I'm more or less than anybody else, but what I can tell you is that I love what I do. Yeah. I have a passion for what I'm doing, and if I can make a difference in your life, and that difference is a positive one, I'm happy. Yeah. If I need to spend another year studying, because I'm going to make a slight improvement if what I'm doing with you, I'm going to do it. Yeah. And I think that anyone in the field with passion 
about helping people and making a difference will yeah. do whatever they want to get themselves better. And yeah. you can tell because those are the people who actually come to these type of meetings. Yeah. And the main thing is just because I'm a little jealous because I want to go on for more education in that realm and stuff like that, but I don't have time with what I'm doing right now. Well, so just, just send me those patients yeah, yeah, yeah. and I tell you how, how you're going. <laughs> yep, exactly. <laughs> That's awesome. No. But you know what? You know, if you really want to do it, yeah. When I did my, my, my physical therapy assistant program, before I did that, I had a meeting with my wife. Mm -hmm. And I actually asked for permission. I said, this is what I want to do. And that's what any good man would do, is ask for permission. Yeah, you have to go for the <laughs> Yep. Make sure you include this in there because, yep. you know, that you're gonna, I'm going to get some brownie points yep, on that yeah. one. <laughs> No, but, you know, we, we, we're working together, mm -hmm. and the idea is to make it better. And if yep. she's helping me, I have a great support system. So... You know, I've been able to do it. Yep, definitely. And you know, and what's people, the easiest way for people to get a hold of you then? Well, if they want to get a hold of me, they can always call me. You know, my I will give my my website that is www.ifpfitness.com. That's my website. Okay. And then uh, my email address is dg as my name okay. David Gonzalez dg fitness at bellsouth.net. Okay. So. I'd be available to answer any questions and to, to help you because that's the business we're in, helping people, sharing information and all become one and work together. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much, you, David. That yeah. was great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks everyone. <laughs>